back and this is part seven of my building the black pearl i think they should rename it the ultimate version instead of all scenario but that's just my opinion so obviously you can see i've got quite a bit done i've had some challenges i made some errors that i had to uh, to go back and take some things apart and put it back together i've been under the weather for a week or so so it's kind of slowed down the the build but as you can see i've made some progress and also there's some important uh, corrections that need to be made that were my fault so if you're building the ship and you're following along you'll want to watch this episode so you don't make the same error I did but I was able to correct it and I have the upper deck in place give you a quick view here this is what you're going to see after it's done pretty much now that I'm back let me give you the details on how I got this far this is my second attempt to make the ladder that goes from the lowest level up to the mid-level deck and that's because I made a mistake so I had to back up and start over. The instructions clearly show you use parts E5 and for the steps 23-1-A. I thought I had found them on this placard which is lowercase a, if you look right there. So I punched them all out. However, there is another placard, and it is marked 23-1. However, what I didn't notice is the ones on top are a little bit narrower than specifically the ones on lowercase placard. A. And by narrower, I mean the, the rails for the ladder will be closer together because when I finished, it would not fit inside this opening. So here's the one that I used, and you can clearly see that the ones on 23-1 are smaller on the top part they are the same as the lower part so these have to be for the lower ladder so let me start all over again what I've done is taken a piece of balsa wood could use cardboard just as well and set these rails for the ladders and then on both ends I put one of the steps just to give me the spacing and then held those in place with these T-pins. I also took a straight edge and pushed the rails uh, level with the end of the balsa wood and then put some painters tape at the top so it can't shove that way. Now I can take these out and glue them in the increments that I want. I'm a little behind on my build. I took a trip for a week and a half and then as soon as I got back I got ill. Nothing major, just cold flu-like symptoms and they're almost gone now but I was in no shape to come out and work on the ship. So uh, today's the first day that I felt better so I've done some work and you can see the cannon uh, bases are all in place. The nail idea worked very well. Real happy with it. I think I can set the cannons in place from the outside after I get the upper decks on. I decided not to do the rope work down here. It's pretty tedious and I don't think it's going to be vis visible anyway because the deck that goes on top of it, you're not going to be able to see that well from this angle. You can see I put the one ladder in place and I think I mentioned before I got sick, I had started that ladder, and it's important to measure the, the distance across of the individual steps so you make sure you get the right ones. These grates can be made so that they would be removable. I did not. I have uh, lightly glued them in place, to say the least, just a little dot of glue. And I will mention you do have to take them and separate them and then file the edges. They will not fit inside this frame until you take them out individually and do a little bit of, of polishing or sanding. Very light 
doesn't take much at all. It's mostly just knocking off those little nubs that hold it on the plaque. I've turned the ship around and what I have decided to do on the nails, I didn't want to glue the the cart that holds the cannon barrel in place, but I also didn't want them to fall out. So here you can see the nail sticking down through the deck. I just put a little bit of super glue up the top of that. And then any that might be visible from the other side on the open end, which I think is only one spot, maybe two. Okay, this one right here. That one has a clear visual path to it. I will just go in and clip that off right even with the uh, the underside of that deck. I think I'm ready to put the upper deck in place. Kind of give you an overview of the things I've put in place so far. And what's unusual about working or building model ships is for me I, I get a feel for it. I can't explain that. It's kind of like when I painted, and I'm not a good painter by any means, but I discussed it in an earlier video that I painted, and I would kind of feel my way. That's what I do with model ship building. I just kind of feel where things would go. I, so I tried to fill this up quite a bit because I figure they're just getting ready to set sail. Things are going very well on the Black Pearl. They've gathered treasure and they're off for the next treasure. But I did put some of the triangular cannonball holders in place. It comes with cannonballs but they were pretty tiny. I didn't think they were uh, quite to scale so I used some that I had uh, picked up at a local Hobby Lobby that was on a chain. I just cut the little balls separate from the chain. And there I added some extra rope. I don't think you could ever add too much rope. I, you know, I'm tempted to just put it everywhere, but I'm, I'm going to try and hold off or hold back. But if you watch the movie, they're always moving ropes out of the way. Tried to add in some extra barrels. You might see I uh, made a little sword right there, hung it on a hook. Now I did have one lantern go out, so I don't know if I broke a wire or what, but I don't think that would be unusual for one to be out on a ship, so I'm not going to try and repair it. I'm just going to live with it. So let's see if I can get the upper deck in place because I think it's going to be a little tricky. I think I've determined that I probably should not have put these two cross members in place until after the deck, the top deck was in place. So I might have misread the instructions. So if you're building, maybe leave these out until you get the deck in place. Where I think I messed up was back on their uh, photo number or slide number 105. It shows them, but they're highlighted in green. And I must have put them in place. But if you then continue to look at photographs from then on, they are not in place. So they you don't want to install those till after you get to where the upper deck goes. So the good news is... I was able to get them to pop off and I will be able to get the top deck in now and then I'll reinstall these. Likewise this piece towards the front of the ship cannot be put in place because you've got to be able to slip the top deck into this area right here. I had mentioned this earlier that I was confused why this had a little raised edge and I said oh it's because this fits on there. Well actually the top deck fits right on there. Then this piece goes in place. So I was able to unassemble that with a little bit of hard work and luck. I didn't break anything. So now let me get back to putting the top deck in place. 
as you can see I have the deck in place I did have to do some filing uh, on these openings so that I could get it to fit in easily um, not a lot but well actually I take that back it was quite a bit but I was able to get it in this piece here I'm not going to secure in I just have it setting there and that's because I want to be able to lift it off I think it's going to make it easier to plank if I plank all the way up to that edge underneath it and then I'll put it on. If it makes it a little high I can just sand this off the bottom. I'd rather do that than, than you know try and get all that cut exactly right. And then the rest of the planking can go all the way back to the back and that'll cover up this seam here between these two pieces. And I saw a technique that I'm considering. It would be a lot more work but it's putting a black thread in between each plank as you lay them out and that represents the tar that was used to seal them. It gives you a very defined line. I may look at it, see what it seems, if it seems doable and I don't even know where I saw that particular video. It was a couple of years ago. So I don't know how often people do that but it sounded interesting to me at the time. This is just the base of the top deck. Now I will have to plank and put the nice black walnut on top of all of that. Plus a lot more work to do too. So that concludes part seven of building the black pearl. And it's gone well. I know there's a lot of work to do in the coming days, weeks, months for that matter, because I'm not too far away from starting to do planking. And for me, that's very time consuming. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting and uh, Thanks for following along on my journey. This is Boiler Dan 1, where, which I haven't mentioned in a while, my motto is I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. And with projects like this, I continue to learn more each and every day.